Hi everyone, let's work on another problem today which is based on binary strings. The problem statement is to count all possible distinct binary strings of length n with no consecutive ones. So for example, if you have a have n equal to 2, you can only form 3 strings here. And for n equal to 3, you can form 5 strings. So let's try to understand how to create these strings through a simple procedure you, by filling up this table okay so using this table we'll understand how to create these strings and eventually we'll understand what the solution might be to solve this problem and it, and then we'll formulate an algorithm for this okay so in this table you have you have columns as lengths of strings from n equal to 1 to n equal to 4 and rows as the strings basically so the strings which end with 0 and which end with 1 so let's start with n equal to 1 for n equal to 1, you can have only two strings, obviously 0 and 1. For n equal to 2, what you have to do is take all the strings from n equal to 1 and append 0 to them, okay? And take strings which end with 0 and append 1 to them, okay? So what did I do? I took all the strings from n equal to 1, appended 0 to them to form n equal to 2 strings. And then I took all the strings which end with 0 from n equal to 1 and added 1 to them, okay? So basically the idea is add 0 to any string no matter what it ends with 0 or 1 and add 1 to only the strings which end with 0. That way we ensure that no strings contain consecutive ones. Okay. Let's do the same thing for n equal to 3. We take, we take all the strings from, from n equal to 2 and append 0 to them. Okay and then take only those things and which end with 0 and append 1 to them okay that way we form all the strings which are of length 3 and which do not have any consecutive ones okay so let's try to count how many string, strings we formed so we formed 3 which is this total number of strings plus 2 which is the number of strings ending with 0 so we formed 5 strings right so what did we do? We added all the strings which are ending with 0 and which are ending with 1. We formed all the strings which end with 0 for n equal to 3. And then we took all the strings which end with 0 and appended to them. That, that's how we formed total number of 5 strings here. Okay. We do, do the same procedure for n equal to 4. We take all the strings, append, uh, append 0 to them. Okay. And then we take only the strings which end with 0 and append 1 to them. That's the procedure we have to follow to get all the strings. Okay. And let's try to find, uh, let, let's try to finalize the algorithm for this. So give it a, le give it a length of n. Let, let's say that C0 is the number of strings that uh, end with 0 and C1 is the number of strings that end with 1. What we, we follow a procedure step by step for length n equal n n plus 1 what we do is we get we append we append 1 to the strings uh, which end with 0 of length n and we get uh, c1 equal to c0 and then we, uh, we we add 0 to strings ending with 0 or 1 so the number of strings that we get ending with 0 are c0 equal to c0 plus c1 okay we keep doing this for from n equal to 1 to n equal to 4 or whatever input positive integer that has been given to the program and then finally we'll have a total count c equal to c0 c plus c1 at the end okay that's it that's the algorithm please check out the code below below this video and then you can also visualize the stack trace uh, in the visualization section of this algorithm below this code snippet and you can run through the step, step by step of that code okay thank you thank you for the watching this video please leave your comments or questions if you have any i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible thank you